So don't think that, oh, I just couldn't help myself. The devil made me do it. No, he didn't. But you chose to do it. And you could chose, choose to not do it. Praise God, this is for somebody this morning. Praise God, this is for somebody. It's your choice. Test and temptations will come, but they're not sent by God. The Bible says God does not tempt anyone. He cannot be tempted. God cannot be tempted. Now, Jesus was tempted, but the Bible says God cannot be tempted. That's what the Bible says. I didn't say it. It's, these are not my words. They're God's words. Read the Bible. Praise God. Jesus was tempted. God cannot be tempted. No, absolutely not. Praise God. But we can resist temptation. Amen. That is so good. I'm glad that we've got the power over all the power of the enemy. Jesus said we did. He said he gave it to us. Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. See, there's a lot of things in the world, a lot of temptations out here. And you know what? But we don't have to submit to them to temptations. We don't have to give in to them. Every day we have chances to get angry. We have chances to say things we shouldn't say. We have chances to do all kinds of things, ungodly things. Even the most holy saying of God, things comes to their mind ungodly things and bad things will come in your mind but you know what you don't have to act on them you do not have to act on them you can say Lord help me and you know what the Bible says casting imaginations down and anything that would exalt itself against the knowledge of God cast it down and bring it into captivity Paul said every thought he said every thought bring into captivity he said, all right, this thought is coming to my mind. I'm going to take it captive, and I'm going to cast it down. Lord, I choose to think about you. I don't choose to think about this thought. I know this thought didn't come from you, and I'm not receiving it. And start thinking, start thinking about a Bible verse. Start thinking about how good Jesus is. Start thinking about a good-worded gospel song. And you know what? That thought cannot stay. When you will cast it down, it cannot stay. Say, in the name of Jesus, I don't take this thought. And see, Jesus told, Jesus said this. He said, take no thought by saying. See, we can take thoughts or we can cast thoughts down. It's our choice. It's up to us. When a thought comes to us, we can say, hmm. And start rehearsing on it. Well, you know what? They did that to me. They said that to me. And they should have known better. And the more you think about it, the more you think, well, they're not going to do me this way and get by with it. No, I'm going to get even with them. And see, so you've thought about that too long. And the Bible says, forgive me, quick to repent, quick to forgive, instantly, instantly be quick to forgive. And it reminds me of what Catherine Kuhlman said one time. Catherine Kuhlman was a mighty, mighty woman of God. So many miracles in her uh, healing conferences and, and revivals and meetings. Many moves of God. There's this reporter, she came into a town one time to have a meeting, a crusade. There's this reporter wrote all kinds of bad things about her, just dissing her and putting her down. And, and then the next week, he called her up and wanted an interview with her. And some of her close associates said, Catherine, you're not going to give him an interview, are you? After what all he's put in the paper about you and published and wrote this about you. And you know what she said? being the godly woman that she was she said oh she said you know she said we're just going to pretend that that didn't happen that is so good that is so good choosing not to think about it choosing to just you know forget 
that it happened. Forgiven. My Lord, that falls into the love category. That falls into the love category. Choosing. You know what? The Bible says that love takes no account of the evil done to it. Love. The love of God in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. We call it the love chapter. In other words, love does not keep books. And you, you can take people that are arguing. And they'll bring up everything that someone's ever said or done to them. Yeah, everything, you know, in the past. <laughs> well, you know, you said this to me or you did that to me. You shouldn't have done it. Bring up everything in the past. The Bible says that love takes no account. In other words, love doesn't keep books. Yeah, it doesn't keep books of the evil done to it or suffered wrong. Oh, that is so good. Be quick to repent. Be quick to forgive. Start over. Repent. If you've done something, God's made a way out of it, and he's made a way back. He has made a way back. If you've, if you've given to temptation, if you've let the devil get the best of you, let your flesh rise up and get the best of you. If you've done things that are not godly, and I'm talking to Christians, repent. Say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me and help me. 